yoga is the science of being seven years, balanced intellectualism, developing inner energies, super consciousness to its fullness. Yogic practices are the best practices in the world. 811 crore people in the world, 230 crore people appreciating yoga means we have enough number of life also. Five important points in your life. One is Vaidya. Second is Vichara, Vairagya, Viveka, Vinaya. These five concepts, if you develop in yourself, and if you do yogic practices and yogic way of life, these five principles can be promoted automatically. If you follow the way of life of yoga, you can have abundant knowledge. Namaste to all the yoga sadhakas. So we have yet another episode of Yoga Anubhava series, a Reflections with a Yogi. So this is a series that we started on Guru Purnime and this is the fifth episode in the series. And today we have Dr. Elangovan sir with us today. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation to come, sir. Thank you. Uh, so before I hand it over to Elangovan and learn from his life journey and from his experience, uh, I'll just take a moment to introduce uh, Elan Govan, sir, to all of you here. Dr. Elan Govan has multiple academic qualifications ranging from history to psychology to yoga. So he is the first to receive doctorate in literature in Tamil Nadu in physical education and yoga from a foreign university. And Dr. Elan Govan's illustrious career spans over four decades. And it encompasses a wide variety of roles in academia, as well as administrative capabilities. Some of these include serving as a member of VC's Conveyor Committee, Tamil Nadu State, Steering Committee and Coordinator for NAC, Professor and Head of Yoga for Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University, and Meenakshi Academy of Higher Education Research. He is the first yoga professor appointed officially in the history of Tamil Nadu government and deemed universities. He was instrumental in forming an exclusive yoga colleges in Tamil Nadu state. He has been instrumental in starting MPhil and PhD programs exclusively in yoga for the first time in Tamil Nadu. He has produced over 45 PhDs and guided more than 130 MPhil awardees. He has authored seven books and more than 30 lesson materials for distance, distance education. And he has published 391 articles and presented over 208 papers in several national and international conferences. He is an invited life member of Indian Yoga Association, New Delhi, a secretary of IYA, Tamil Nadu State Chapter and a Senior Vice President of Tamil Nadu Yoga Asana Sports Association affiliated to National Yoga Sports Federation, New Delhi. And he has done more than 45 programs in All India Radio and Television Channels. Invited and he has got invited for more than 300 times as guest speakers at various platforms. And honored with many other awards and won, won, and won many international awards in Lions Cup International. So I think this is a very short uh, bio of a person who is having much, much greater experience uh, in the field of yoga and is continuing <clears throat> to serve even to this day. So thank you so much again for uh, uh, gracing us uh, in the Yuga Anubhava series, sir. Thank you so much. So now the question, uh, what I want to ask you, sir, uh, so you have four decades of experience. So in that four decades of experience, so what are those... Uh, the four personal yoga messages uh, that you have learned for yourself uh, that you would like to uh, the share it to the next generation itself. Namaste. Greetings to one and all. First of all, I express my sincere thanks to uh, Vinay Siddhaya for having given this opportunity. I follow the yogic principles. Yoga is the science of being seven years, balanced intellectualism, developing inner energies super consciousness to its fullness, blossoming of human potentialities to its fullness is yoga. Yoga also promotes our well-being and happiness. Yogic practices are the backbone of yogic life. How much duration that I want to do included all kind of practices like asanas, pranayama, and meditation. It would be better if you combine equal importance one-hour training, rotations and stretching, Surya Namaskar, asanas, 20 minutes. Pranayama practices, 20 minutes. Finally, meditation, 20 minutes. Yogic practices are the best practices in the world. Mm -hmm. Health can be promoted. 
out of 143 crore people in India, we, the Indians, only 9 crore Indians are health conscious. There are 4,448 diseases are there. Mm -hmm. According to uh, USA's Health Association, it is around 7,000 diseases. According mm -hmm. to World Health Organization, it is 55,000 problems. Health is very essential. That is the foundation for our life. Yoga, if you, if you do yogic practices and if you follow yogic principles and concepts, everything will be promoted. Physical, mental, moral, social, emotional, spiritual, cultural, vital, occupational, educational, and so on. And it not only promotes your fitness, health, wellness, but it promotes total well-being. I am also working for the past 15 years exclusively in yogic practices and the yogic field. We with higher educational system that I introduced the MPhil and PhD programs first time in Tamil Nadu. If you go through the research evidences, why mm -hmm. the whole world is approaching and appreciating yoga because it has its own relevant materials in research. 811 crore people in the world, 230 crore people appreciating yoga means we have enough number of research evidences. You take the example of top universities in the world, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Stanford University, Oxford University, Cambridge University, Harvard University, California University, Wisconsin uh, University, they are all doing research in yoga. Apart from our country, that Ayush Department and the Ames Hospital and Center for Integrative Medicine and Research, they are doing a lot of research works apart from the universities having yoga department. Yoga fulfills whatever the need. It provides randomized controlled trials are available. Investigational methods are good. Safety measures are good. There won't be any side effects if you do yogic practices, cost effect also. In modern medicine, new kind of techniques and equipments are coming. The same thing we have to follow in yoga. Now the people in the technological world, they expect instant relief. We do yogic practices in certain areas. These practices, particularly endocrine system, nervous system, circulatory system, and the neurological systems, digestive systems, this will be promoted. Any kind of problem can be set right in these areas. We in India, at present, we are having a number of problems, very particularly the students, the children, the rural people. After COVID, so many problems we could come across from the behavior of the children. Mm -hmm. Out of 44 crore children in India, mm -hmm. 25 crore are studying in sports. Rural people, because of this technological improvement, now they are on par with urban people, school children. Because of this wrong attitude of their behavior, 35 students per day are committing suicide. In order to promote them, we ought to go for a new kind of promotions and techniques in yoga. They promote health, personality, our behavior, research, and because of research, we could emulate to promote the whole world's peace. Got it, sir. Fantastic. Actually, basically, there's a, you're just saying that we should focus more on uh, the things that suits the modern world now. Yeah. Like because uh, instead of just saying yoga, you should do, now you're just saying evidence-based research and also uh, time-bound studies so that people will follow it in a, in a, in a, in a, in a modern world. So that's a, that's a nice uh, input, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, one personal question for you is uh, when you started this whole journey of uh, bringing the academics into the state of Tamil Nadu itself, uh, you are like a pioneer now and I'm sure that you had faced a lot of challenges. Uh, because I'm not sure how 30 years back uh, the whole India was or the acceptance of yoga was, and particularly in academia. So what are the challenges that you faced and uh, uh, anything that, any learnings from those things? Because a lot of people now also are, are planning to start new universities, new institutions and all of those things. So any uh, personal experience or something you want to share for that uh, people who want to start something in this academia? Definitely, uh, we had faced a lot of uh, challenges that our university uh, in the year 2005, Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University, they established the yoga department. Many of them, they 
raised their eyebrows. How can yoga be a department like that? Chennai, 15 years back, around 10 yoga centers would be prominent. And at the maximum, 50 yoginis and yog yogis would be handling yogic practices and training the others. That time, we faced a lot of challenges and they worried how yoga, how MPhil can be in yoga, how PhD can be in yoga. Those who raised the questions, they themselves permitted their children or their persons to study in our university. So that is a plus point for us. Now, you know, more than 1,000 yogis and yoginis are handling yogic practices in Chennai alone. And there are so many centers. What we advocate as Vinay is a, a basis of a science person, we have to go according to the science. So we need, we are having, already we are having anatomical and physiological basis. That's why we could dominate than other Indian traditional systems. Lot of scope is available in yoga, in the modern world. Very particularly, if you want to go for Yoga, tourism, abundant opportunities. If you want to go for marketing, so many opportunities. You can be a data scientist, data analyst, an expert in artificial intelligence, startups in yoga, and also marketing will be an extraordinary uh, avenue. And very particularly, corporate sector, you can do a lot. That's what, what uh, Vinay uh, Siddhaya is doing. We can also do accordingly with the help of technological developments and the science-based concepts. So what I feel that youngsters will have to use these concepts. I could experience five important points that could be in your life also. One is Vaidya. Second is Vichara, Vairagya, Viveka, Vinaya. These five concepts, if you develop in yourself and if you do yogic practices and yogic way of life, these five Principles can be promoted automatically. You can have abundant knowledge, dispassion in materialistic things, discriminate easily, which is right or wrong, have humility, thoughts and actions would be better. So at the outset, what I want to tell to the youngsters, you please aim high, like Vinay Siddhaya, <laughs> and also work hard. And finally, believe in yourself. You can do wonders. Mother's milk is not for mother, but for the child. Fragrance of flower are not for flowers, but Fantastic. for human beings. Yes. Fruits are nice not nice. for trees. Fruits are not for trees, but for the society. At the mm -hmm. outset, your life is not for you, but for the society. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Very well said. Very well said. And you, you bought a nice way of... Uh, bringing the multidisciplinary approach uh, to the field of yoga itself for the next generation, which is, uh, which is the right way to go for all of us, I think. So thank you for spending your time with us uh, with us and sharing all these uh, valuable insights with us. Thank you so much. Uh, finally, I have to thank uh, Vinay Siddhaya. As long as the sun and moon remain, Vinay, let your name and fame continue to shine and spot me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank very you, much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you a lot. That means a lot to me. Thank you. <laughs>